Real opinions, no edits. This is the All Things Gold Podcast. I'm E. I'm Big Kimmy. It's like, no, I'm Kay Alexander. <laughs> DJ Ashmo. And we today have we're guest. filming at the Crazy Crab Bag. What you talking about? What's up? Hey, been a crazy crab bag since they made crab bag. Period. Period. Already. <laughs> what you talking about? And with today we have with us. Oh, it's your boy Pablo, aka I'm a favorite grandson, aka the bearded one, aka Pod's gift. Okay. CEO of that thing of ours, SMG, the game. Yeah. What's going on? Y'all heard it. Okay, okay. Y'all heard that. That was an intro. Y'all heard word. That was it. So, we, need to so we said S what? SMG. What's, SMG, yeah. what does that stand for? Sarcarigus Media Group. Okay. Ooh, that's okay. my company I got. Okay. So, does that mean you're a sarcastic, arrogant person? That's exactly what it means. Okay. okay. Congratulations okay. for getting there on the first try. I feel all that in the Wow. Team. How did you know that? Because <laughs> I'm not stupid. Because, <laughs> <laughs> tell them the name of it. Yeah, Sark Arrogance. So, it's Sark literally arrogance. sarcasm and arrogance. We got a t-shirt that literally says oh, sarcasm you. and arrogance put together. Oh, okay. So, it's Sark Arrogance. When did you realize you was that person? Oh, uh, shh. <laughs> Birth. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Not birth. What's no. your son? Aquarius. Ooh, Aquarius gang. Hey, hey. Yeah, I think they say that about you. Oh, yeah. What? Mm-hmm. Little Sorry. Arrogant, little um, they, they don't understand this. I've never heard that. I'm, I'm a nonchalant. Very nonchalant. So. Very nonchalant. Very. Very. Mm-hmm. I'm not a science nigga, so I don't. <laughs> Whatever y'all you say. You still nigga. What? I don't believe in that shit. <laughs> right, that was a Jay-Z. <laughs> Wait, what is your son, though? <laughs> yeah. Pisces. March 9th. Oh, yeah, I'm a Pisces. Oh, Pisces. Yes. Okay. I'm a best friend. March, um, March 8th. I, got, I probably got a little Pisces in me, too, because mm-hmm. I'm at the end. Oh, cool, you know? Fuck you. So, yeah, tell us about your studio and everything you got going on, bro. All right, man, I got a, uh, a studio out over east, uh, off of Harper Road. <laughs> okay, off road. No, I'm a southwest Baltimore kid, but I'm out over there. Yeah. West side? Yeah. <laughs> But it's only off of Harper Road. We got two little, um, not little. We got two mm-hmm. studio spots. little. Yeah, don't yeah, take, yeah, yeah. Hey, don't put the little one. Big in. studio. I think I'm gonna get yelled at when I get off of here. Um, <laughs> yeah, two studio spots. I'm um, studio spots, and uh, one super huge. You can fit like I think we had like seven people in there one time. Even though mm-hmm. I get yelled at for doing that, but it's all right. And the other one is just a total vibe. Um, my girl set that up, and it's like stars and moons and quasars all in there. So, oh, okay. yeah, yeah. so let me so, ask you a question. What up, though? In the studio, is we rapping? Is we painting? Mm-hmm. Yeah, are we on types trends? of studios? Mm-hmm. Like, what are we doing in the studio? Yes. Uh, all Everything. Three. Yes. Pretty yeah. Yeah. Anything. Whatever you can think of, we can do it. Whatever so you even did shrooms before? No. Okay, but, I'm asking. But my C- he wholesome. My CIO has, but you know that's a whole other story. Okay. Yeah. He not sure. He don't want no guns. Yep. You, yeah. Yeah. Uh huh. Uh huh. Shrooms? Like no. Can have some tequila. <laughs> <laughs> you can have some tequila. You done shrooms. But yeah, man. Yeah. Um, been I uh, had the studio for like two years now. We had a soft launch. Couple, uh, a couple of weeks ago, went super well. It had vendors in there, all that good stuff. Invited somebody sitting here, but you know, they didn't show up. But oh, yeah, put them out there. Put them out there. The rest of the unit didn't know. We didn't know. I had to work. We though. didn't know. Yeah, other than that, niggas know. Yeah. You show up. Yeah, I you say that. You say yeah, you do. So, what inspired you to open the studio? Um, I was tired of recording in my basement. Okay, that, 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 recording what in your basement? Yeah, your basement. Oh, I got. Three podcasts on my own, so I was just okay. in my basement. And then I started SMG, and it's a collective of podcasts, and it's like, mm-hmm. they ain't all coming to my basement. So okay. so tell us about your podcast. Get three. Uh, yeah. <laughs> but the first one is called Tequila and Champagne. Hey, okay. Oh, see, I told you. Wait a minute. Yeah, let's I told go you. to that. Yeah. So hold up. If it's Tequila and Champagne, do you drink a Tequila and Champagne on your um podcast? Yes, we do. But you ain't going so to you don't drink us. It's Sunday. Uh, uh. The fuck is that? Jesus, man. <laughs> Jesus, man. 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 Jesus, um, yeah. Where, where you talking about? And, uh, See, cup for me. Oh, we going to toast. I don't know what the fuck they doing. They childish. <laughs> but we going to toast to the podcast. Salute. Right. What they talking about? Appreciate that. Yeah, it's um, me, my own co-host, Shay, 
Um, Shay Laron, she's out of uh, California. We do it uh, Ooh, virtually. Okay. Um, okay. She made up the idea, actually, because that's her favorite drink. So, oh, um, mine too. But yeah, we just, this is oddball topics. We'll take literally like one topic. Like last week, we did soul wounds. It got real deep, real heavy. Um, but other times it'd be religion. Sometimes it'd be sex. Sometimes, you know, it'd just be one. Tell us about soul wounds. Yeah, soul I don't wounds. even know what that well, is. Well, soul wounds is uh, like the wounds you receive from the pain that you see when you're okay, like five. So not soul wounds. No, no, soul, soul wounds. wounds. I thought you okay. said wounds. Oh, yeah, yeah, I thought you said yeah. soul okay. wounds. Yeah. Okay. Oh, wow. So, yeah. so the, the pain you receive from when you're a child, you carry it on as an adult and you pass it on to. Other kids, like your kids, your nieces, your nephews, and all that. Well, stuff. with her being from California, how did you even meet her? Um, well, I had a po- um, before the podcast, I had a meme page, it had over uh, 118,000. A meme page, so you just strictly posted memes, yep, for the most part. And then I stopped doing that for a little bit and I did a mental health page, that's how I met her. So me on the mental health tip, and then okay. me and her became real cool. She's in Aquarius as well, okay, so we was like. Okay. We got to do this. Mm-hmm. Our conversation. Yeah, so wait, you just said mental health memes, the studio, recording podcast. Like, you just do you a just lot. Do it all. Uh, my mama's not going to do any of What's your side? Aquarius. Oh, you did say Aquarius. Yeah. I'm sorry. I've been drinking. Oh, and I see you on promote a lot there. of different podcasts. I support your, uh, your everybody. Uh, wait, we're not in your language. Oh, wait. We still got to get into his other podcast. You yeah. said you had three. Oh, so you so had the that one, one to talk so about one. different topics. Yep. Mm-hmm. And then we got uh, Toxicology Report. Me and my best friend. Toxicology that's the Pisces. Toxicology Report. report. It's just a play and on toxic. It's a, it's a play on the word toxic. Oh, just that's cool. Okay. Y'all was checking my blood. Because it's real toxic. Yeah. Yeah. Shit. Yeah, yeah, that's all. And it, it's just we be talking about that. So shit. basically, me and him used to talk all the time. We used to go out to the bar and just have whole conversations there, and people would sit there and watch us. So we mm. was like, you know what? We're older now. We're fathers now. We're not gonna be sitting at the bar all day. Mm. Just turn it into a podcast. That's, that's it. That's dope. Yeah. Okay. And I like then, that. The last one. And then the last one's called questions. And basically, it's that's what it is. Every season has a different set of questions, different set of people. I ask them all random questions that pull from the emotion. Like it's is you may think it's a, a question you never thought about before, but Oh well, I'm trying to come on. Yeah. Hey, say less. Uh, I need yeah. one more person, so yeah, say less. Please. I let me go. Say, I might answer we do three podcasts like this. Oh, I podcast think you like one person alone Uh-oh. is like mm-hmm. a lot for me. How the hell do you manage three podcasts? Oh, well, one's on Tuesday, one's on Wednesday, <laughs> and then questions I do whenever I want. So that's all you do. You do, like that's my three podcasts that I do. Then I manage the other the studio. twelve But you don't have a nine to five. Yeah, of course I do. You do? Yeah. Damn. You got a lot That's of called working. Yeah. Damn, you really work. That's working. Yeah, I'm working, working. working until I have to work no more. Yeah. I'm tired. Yeah. So is yeah. Ladies Pitch one of your ones you manage? They were. Okay. Um, Wait, they, you manage podcasts? Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, oh. Ladies Do we need a manager? Should I'm, he be managing I, I, I was. I was about... You know, I could... I don't know. So what could you do for us as a podcast? As a manager, yeah. What can I do? Absolutely nothing. You do the work. I just I just put a bigger spotlight on you so the whole world can see. Oh, so you hmm. want to get us some coins? Yeah, absolutely. Oh. Is okay. that guaranteed? Like, nothing's Money guaranteed. Money back guaranteed? Nothing's guaranteed. <laughs> no. I tell you people all the time, you join SMG. If you don't like it, you can leave. There's no hard feelings. But only one person left. How many okay. other people you got? Oh, I got it. It's like 25 of us right now. They making sh- money? Mm-hmm. Everybody got sponsors. So what happened with Ladies Pitch? <laughs> um, they, they went their own way. That's all. Because... New York, Baltimore, just didn't mesh as well. But you're dealing with people in LA, so yeah, like, that's true. But it's a, it's a rivalry thing that goes back to way before we grew up. So oh really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. I thought but, you were uh, rival with DC. Nah, oh, <laughs> New York. Heavy too. rivalry with New York. Really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I like them. Yeah, yeah. But, I, don't fuck, I ain't got nothing against nobody in New York. Can't but, trust them. I fuck with New York. Uh, yeah, I do too. Like, to this day, me and Ladies Pitch. We we stay cool. I still post their stuff. There's no hard feelings at all. Yeah, they just yeah, it just didn't I mean, it just didn't click. Just, that's it. Yeah, yeah. So I fuck with like ladies that. pitch, yeah. yo. I fuck with them. Oh yeah, that's I'm my people. Yeah, yeah, I'm gonna have to check all these about? out. Yeah, they might be sex shit. Yeah, oh, a that's lot why of, you a like a lot of sex. He no, love all the sex. No, I used to chat with him on another platform. We know because yeah. you love all the sex shit. <laughs> no, on another platform before different podcasts, yeah. Yeah. communication. Mm-hmm. Yeah, they, 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 they love super all the sex shit. Yeah, yeah, you like all the sex shit though. Know. Yeah, they super. You want me to say it louder? You can. I like all the sex shit. Okay. No <laughs> substance. <laughs> What you mean? It's substance and sex. Well, they have substance. They, they definitely what? have substance. He don't. That I don't know. But, 
Okay. Okay. <laughs> okay, so uh, I had a question about mm-hmm. mental health. So how did you get into mental health? You said you started a oh, page. Well, um, I've been battling depression since I was 10. Okay. Um, Thank you for sharing that. A lot of people yeah. go through that and can't admit Not, it or share yeah. it. I have no problem with that at all. Um, got to the point where it was too dark for me, and I mm-hmm. you know, attempted to take myself away from it. Um, survived that, thankfully. Okay. You know. Yes. Um, that was 2013. Um, okay. I just been talking about it ever since. You know, because okay. I mean? like you said, no, people don't talk about, it, especially yeah. men of color. Yeah, we don't. Right. We yeah. we just right. don't speak on things like that. And I want to put it out there. I want everybody else to know that the guy that had the meme page, the guy that makes everybody laugh, mm-hmm. he goes yeah, through this yeah. well. So, mm-hmm. Okay. Well, I have a Feel question. That. Being as though we on the mental health, like mm-hmm. if like you had like a, a best friend, close friend. Mm-hmm. And like you felt, you found their suicide note before they actually committed the act. Mm. Like, what would you say to them? That's a very good question. Mm. It's deep. Yeah, I'm, I don't know. I'll be honest with you, because somebody would have found my note. So you, you didn't have a note? note? Nah, I don't know. Uh-huh. I was I was childish when I did mine. I, was, I thought I was gonna be a celebrity. I was I popped pills, went to uh-huh. sleep. I, I was like, I'm going out. Like, so the whole you didn't think you was gonna wake up, but you woke nah, up. Nah, yeah. Uh-huh. My, my mom, she saved my life. Mm. I actually so saved somebody did you take? From And how many? Way too many. <laughs> Man, what kind? Um, what did you take? It was Tylenol 3. Um, mm. I got it from uh, when I got my tooth pulled. And I had a, a gang of them left because I didn't take them when I had them. I just, mm. just fought through the pain. So, so you just kept popping. Yeah, I just yeah. kept going, kept going, kept going. Mm. And then my mom, who never, I mean, never visits, mm. came to visit that day. And that's wow, the only reason why I'm standing here today. Oh, God um, shout out to mom. Yeah. Do you... Um, Damn, I have a mental point. Um, I forgot what I was going to say. I dance a little right. bit. Well, let's get, <laughs> let's, let's get back to the question. What oh, I you? know what I was going to ask. Okay. I'm sorry. Go ahead, go ahead. I'm sorry. Um, do you wish she didn't find you? No. Okay. Um, that first month? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Absolutely. Mm-hmm. Absolutely. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I was like, that was the worst thing ever. Um, and then all, when all my friends, when I finally opened up to them about it, mm-hmm. They were crying and said, I didn't know it was that bad. I know, you know what I mean? And then even my best friend who didn't believe in depression at all, he kind of true understanding of it now. So, uh, but yeah, now I'm glad she did because mm-hmm. I didn't, I didn't met people. I didn't met celebrities. I didn't help people. I didn't get DMs every day from people like, Hey, I'm in the hospital and the only thing got me through is your page. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? That's, so, that's yeah, that's amazing. That's dope. And then I got all these dope podcasts. You know what I mean? Oh, so, right. yeah. You know, shout out to my people. <laughs> hey, shout out you to want to answer a question? I got a question. No, I asked the question. It was never mm-hmm. answered. What was oh, what was it? Oh, if you... Oh, yeah, I don't know. I do not know. Um, it would definitely be me being the annoying friend popping up um, and just not leaving. Like, I don't want to say nothing to you because a lot of times... Would you tell them that you actually found a note? No, not at all. Not at all. I wouldn't... Um, Cause some people are embarrassed when they do that note. They do write that note. That's why they write the note so they don't have to tell you personally yeah. what's going can on. Can we can we go down the line? Everybody answer. You mm-hmm. answer. Um, I mean, I dealt with someone that you found a note. No, she was texting me and she was like saying goodbye and um, I was like, how are you saying goodbye in a text? Like it was weird. So I knew something was going on. Then I, I had I was younger, so I called. Um, it was my cousin. I called. Her sister that was taking care of her and she found her. She had like drunk um, some type of uh, cleaning product or something. I don't know. So for me, I would say I pretty much would just try to encourage them and be there for them more. Like make them feel good. Just check on them um, and do the best I can to be a great friend or family member. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, my daughter actually suffers from severe depression, but... Um, Battles doesn't suffer. Battles with severe depression. Um, I don't know. I don't know. Yeah, it's a tough question. I don't know. Yeah. What about you? E? Oh my God. <laughs> Don't stop. Like, this is a serious topic, yo. What? She's looking at me laughing and shit. Like, <laughs> oh, because you're known for. Cause, cause, go ahead. Just go ahead. Don't, don't let things. Um, yeah, don't let you trying to get my serious answer, yo. Okay. Serious face. That's childish. He's going to say he's trying to give a serious face and he's going to do all that shit like a two year old. Come on. 
Yeah, no, no, real talk though. I feel as though like if you at the point where as though you left a, a note, like you didn't already thought about Childish. this shit. Oh, uh, no. To the point where as though it ain't probably no talking you out of it, but I'ma still be on some shit like, yo, bro, like you still got more good times to live, mm. but at the same time. Like, I don't know if I can talk you out of this shit. You won't. If that's what you want to do, that's what you want to do. But at least, let's, let's go out have a good time and maybe reminisce on the shit that we did and maybe you'll want to live. But I mean, I don't know what to do in that, that, yeah. that, in yeah. that situation. And also, sometimes you might be reminiscing about the good times. Something that same day could be bad for them. Mm-hmm. So you might be triggering them as well. Right. Yeah, so it's tricky. So let me ask you this. Are you on medication for your depression? No, not at all. Okay. So were you ever pushing up medication? Um, they tried, but I told them no. I didn't want to be a robot. I'm so glad that you said that. So because yeah. I know when it comes to mental health stuff and medication, sometimes you have to be on it for extended time to mm-hmm. feel better. Right? Mm-hmm. But like prime example with my daughter. Her medication made her feel good, and then it made her feel bad, and mm-hmm. she wasn't willing to like. And her mind, she feel like she could beat the depression or mm-hmm. whatever. But I feel like, but I don't have, I don't suffer from depression. Mm-hmm. I feel like you need to be on your medication. Like, what advice would you give another person that suffers from depression? Like, when it comes to the whole medication thing, um, it's, it's person to person. Um, some people. They take to the medicine well. Other people just don't. You know, uh, mm-hmm. a lot of people, you know, like they say the side effects. There's always something wild. So, yeah. you know, sometimes the, the medicine make you more depressed and make you want to be, you know, suicidal. So have you ever actually been on the medicine? No, no. Okay. Not at all. Not at all. Um, you have, so you never take medication? No. Um, I turned to Buddhism. Um, that's why okay. I carry the beads. Um, what is Buddhism? And why Buddhism? Why Buddhism? Because um, the meditation. Um, okay. The, the just the, the practicing of being in oneself. It's mm-hmm. all on me. Is you know? Buddhism considered a religion? To some, to most. What is it to you? It is. Okay, absolutely. Did you yeah. have a religion prior to that? Yeah. Okay. I, I grew up in a Baptist house. Okay. Big mama, so you my have, mama, I mean, aunties. regardless of like Buddhism or whatever, mm-hmm. so you do believe in a higher being. Mm-hmm. Okay. So what made you go to Buddhism like he instead just of like it. Muslim or my father was a Muslim. Um, I ain't, I ain't like it. Why? Too strict. No, I just didn't like it. Okay. Um, so at the, it wasn't at the really time, no reason. Yeah, it wasn't really. Like, yeah, it just wasn't for Because basically, how I feel about you know religion, spirituality is, it's like you got to find your fit. You know what I mean? Like mm-hmm. just because my mom, my grandmother is Baptist, mm-hmm. don't necessarily yeah. mean you know what I mean. You know, I can yeah. go to I can go to the church and I'm like. Yeah, I don't like what they're talking about, you know? Mm-hmm. Or I can go to a Catholic church because my best friend's Catholic. I don't like what you're talking about. Mm-hmm. Buddhism, just, it, you just, I just felt just home. Felt, yeah. Yeah, I yeah. felt like I was there. That's all. Okay. So how long have you been practicing that? Um, Since 2014. And who introduced you to it? Uh, <laughs> Russell Simmons. Okay, that I means yeah. that. Oh, no. We get whatever no. we can yeah. get. No. Like, that nigga um, before that, that nigga massage. Yeah, that, yeah, that was before oh, before everything came out. Okay, it, uh, Uncle Russ was the reason that I uh, turned to Buddhism. So okay. So, well, so have you done? Um, uh, do you believe in like therapies? A lot of people are against that. Or have you done it? Yeah, I got well, therapies now. Okay, yeah. good. Shout out to Laura. What up? Okay. Yeah. So do y'all like um like is there a place you go to um to praise make, and Buddhism. Yeah, or like meditation um, church. There's a, there's a few temples in, in Maryland. Okay, there's okay. one on Northern Parkway, actually. Hmm. Um, I don't go there. I, don't go there. I, got, I got a whole sanctuary in my house. Why don't you go there? Um, you too good because for no matter like, Nah, it's not. <laughs> it's like you yeah. talk to fellowship. So right, right, right. Yeah, it's not that. It's just sometimes I don't feel like driving there. Okay. That's, that's the, the beauty yeah, of, of Buddhism. Yeah, you can make your own yeah. space. Yeah. And then I don't judge people like who watch T.D. Jakes on TV every Sunday. You Baby, know what I mean? T.D. Jakes spoke to my soul this morning. See what I'm saying? Oh, like, child. I, oh, I the did. building is the building. You, you, what you make of it okay. is what it is. So, like how we have the Bible, what do you guys have? <laughs> the Dhammapada. The Dhammapada. Is that a book? Oh, yeah, it's a book. Okay. Yeah, it's, is it's it in English? Yeah, they trans they uh, they translated. I don't know. I'm yeah, no, they translated. It's, it's originally in Sanskrit. Um, it's the actual words of the Buddha, mm-hmm. and they translate in English. So, what's okay. the one thing you could teach us about the, the what is it? How you pronounce it? Again? The Dhammapada. The Dhammapada. Um, 
Patience. Mm. Patience. That's so it. when people say the Buddha, I think of a gold statue mm-hmm. of a nigga with a big belly. That's not him. That's not him? Who is that? The Buddha is a tall, slender Indian man. Yep. So who's the guy with a fat belly? That's, that's the happy monk. The happy monk. Yeah. And what does he symbolize? I feel like he symbolizes. I thought that was the Buddha. Yeah. Meditation. 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 I thought that was the Buddha. Oh, see, you thought that was the Buddha. Oh, everybody, 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 I, know, I think yeah. everybody, yeah. yeah. I, think I, I did that first, too. I so I, so yeah. I started studying. But yeah, he's wow. Here. See, look what they won't let fat niggas just... win. Nothing, nope, 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 hey, nope. <laughs> But the Buddha, <laughs> he's wild. Like the Buddha, uh, his dad kept him in the castle, so he he come from money, and the dad mm-hmm. kept him there. He didn't want his, his son to see the suffering in the world, so mm-hmm. he never left the kingdom until Damn. one day he just like he got one of the drivers like, "Hey, take me out there." Mm-hmm. And he saw an old man getting old. He said, "What is that?" He said, "You're gonna get old one day." Mm. Then the next day he saw a man die. He said, "We're going to die one day," and that changed his whole aspect in life. And he's oh, like, so he "And how old was he when this happened? When he, w- he was, was able to go out? He was young. He was probably a teenager. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. teenager. And maybe. he stayed in the house that whole time. Yeah, no whole social. Time, that I did. I took psychology, and mm-hmm. they were talking about a girl they kept like in a cage or something. Mm-hmm. And she didn't have no social. It really messes them up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, so, yeah. Mm, wow." There's a movie What's about that out? too. I can't read yeah. like a movie. Yeah. Of it. And then he left. He left the money. He's like, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go out into the world. Money. He left the money. He left his wife and his care. kid. His wife and his. Kid. This is the book. Bu- this is. Yeah. Oh. The yeah. The, the Buddha. Wow. Mm. But he well, know, why did he say why he wanted to live his life? Everything. This, do you know why he left everything? Because he wanted to teach the world. He wanted. He didn't want that. He didn't want the 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 money. For the most mm, part, yeah. and no family. He yep. just wanted himself. But it's wild because wow, as as a parent, his father tried to protect him from mm-hmm. from but, the world so and yeah, society, crave it crazy. and go out and explore it more. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Now that's wild. Yep. Mm. Okay, that's like that's bubble kids, man. What's bubble kids? When you grow up in that little bubble. Oh, when parents are strict and then they get wild, they See, when you um, say let bubble them... kids. I'm thinking somebody's sick. Like they put well, you. You in got them too. Oh, okay. Yeah, that too. In the yeah. Yeah, it ain't no and then they get sick when they get older because they ain't had no germs, yeah, exactly. so you no know, exposure. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. That's crazy. Mm. Well, then you got the mothers who fake the sickness on the kid because they don't want them to leave them. Yep. Eminem mean, moms did that. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. People do some wild yeah. stuff. Right? Yeah, they tell you, you, you got a leave. sickness because they don't want you yeah. to leave you. They oh, it was that movie too. Um, what? Yes, it was a movie. They the girls, so they kills. make the kid be she sick, make her or they make, no, they make the kid be sick. They yeah. make them think they sick. Mm-hmm. Yes. They put you on fake pills, but yep. the whole time you don't it need the pills. The pills making you sick. Movie. Yep, it was a movie like that, and the Baby girl was finding out, and she started living a yeah. sick. World. Yeah, yeah, the world is sick as shit. Man. Yeah, maybe need some more positive. Going because we did get into some depression. So, a meditation is a big thing for you guys. I like meditating. What yeah. else? Um, well, depending on what uh, what form of Buddhism you study. Um, okay, what's the different, different forms? forms? Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's the Dalai Lama. There's the... Uh, that nigga will be sucking tongues. Sucking tongues? <laughs> yeah, that guy. Yeah. Um, they're super strict. No, my bad. Sucking kids' tongues. <laughs> what? Five-year-old. <laughs> Or was he for? So let me ask you that. Does that how does that make you feel about your religion when stuff like that happens? Mm, I have no feeling towards that man. That ain't got nothing to That's do his you. path. That's literally what they teach us. Our path is our path. Okay. But yeah. he's like the he's like y'all pope. No, he's not. He's he not. Is. His path. No, his so why is he so popular? Like like tell him. <laughs> so why is he so popular? The battle member is like the pope. He just says he's it's a not. Pope. On one side of it, the. Uh, <laughs> On one side of it, yes, they look at him as the end all be all. Mm-hmm. Like Tina Turner, she wouldn't look at him as the end all be all. She has her own uh, set of Buddhism that she follows. Tina Turner, so she created, yeah, yeah, she did the a rainy day. Yeah, yeah that, right there, that has nothing to do. That's with how she the got away from Ike. Yeah, mm-hmm. you need to rewatch that. Yeah. yeah. So, so, but so you like she yes. created her own set of rules. So that's what no, y'all no, no. did. Y'all she all create no, no, no. your own set of rules. The the style of Buddhism that she studies is okay. different from what the Dalai Lama. Okay, studies. but it's not the Dalai Lama creates. doesn't eat meat. He doesn't step on ants. He doesn't do any of that. But like, he sucks tongues. Hmm. Apparently, do you hmm. agree with that? No. Okay. Hmm. So well, do you step on I, I don't know because you're a Buddha. You might think like, yo, that's that Buddha. That's his life. 
But no, I don't agree with that. So no. you step on tongues? I mean, step Do I on step on tongues? <laughs> yeah, on ants, tongues. If, if the price is right, I might. I don't know. <laughs> so you step on tongues? Are you eating? Um, are you eating? I, 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 I do eat me. Oh, um, okay. I don't eat the pork. Do you okay. follow like Tina Turner's way? Or? No, I don't. I don't. I don't chant. I don't chant. Um, so what's what's chanting about? Chanting is, is, is that like bad to speak in tongues? No, it's okay. it's like uh, vibrations, like you know the vibe. Yeah, the, you're sending um, the yeah, you're sending the vibrations shots. out. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So why don't you? Why do you that? asking me? She knows all this stuff. <laughs> she ain't tell me though. <laughs> Well, I know she really should need. Yes. <laughs> no, I, I was into chakras and healing, Man, meditation, cool, things like that. So why don't you do that? <laughs> if it's if it could get like a higher vibration, why don't why don't you do that? Because it's not a you just meant yeah. and just I got, quiet. Yeah, and I got a singing bowl too. So oh, the singing sound bowl. Oh, the yeah. sound bowl. Oh, you got I a like sound bowl. Those. I, like yeah. sound bowl I like those. Do you? Will you believe in chanting? Are you Buddhist? Uh, are you Buddhist? Is it Buddhist? Yeah, Buddhist. Are you Buddhist? What mm-hmm. are you? I grew up in a Christian home, but I'm more like a spiritual person, but I do believe in Jesus Christ. Girl, you can't So why do you believe in Jesus Christ? My family is, they're Italian. So why do you but... believe in Jesus Christ as your savior, but you more like... Damn, I'm getting interviewed. No, because time out, your family Catholic, no. but you're not. No. It yeah, my Italian question. side is Catholic, my black side was Baptist. Mm-hmm. Um, but I just kind of... I, that's just it just feels right to me like he said mm-hmm. like i feel like jesus is my savior so i got saved i got baptized things like that but i am still spiritual so i'm really finding myself really mm-hmm. now too i pray yeah, i I'm read the bible yeah. and stuff and i've been i've been looking for a church but you know i, I don't know i may i may you know yeah, be more just spiritual because also if you read the bible and you read the dhammapada it's a lot of the a lot of the verbiage i feel is the like same. have you All seen like guys Wait a minute! Don't leave us out. What is Time it? Out. What is Zeitgeist? Zeitgeist. It's a movie, yeah. but that's a it's a long story. No, 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 no. So is they pretty much say no. It's on um, Amazon Prime. I think. <laughs> no, it's actually on YouTube. It's actually on YouTube. It, it on did YouTube. talk about pretty much the the yeah. gist is the sun. Mm-hmm. Zeitgeist. Zeitgeist. I'll send it. To Can you send okay. it to me? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Isn't it? It's, yeah, it's the sun is pretty much the oh, sun. I don't of, know what Zeitgeist is. Like, I gotta watch it again. It's right. very deep. It is deep. But and it talks about it, like nine eleven and a lot of things going on in the U.S. Is it deeper than King Bomb being a serial killer? I don't know about that. Okay, King Bomb. Let me send it to y'all before I forget. Yeah. Okay. Um, <laughs> <laughs> that's but, also on YouTube. But no, also, but also, they yeah, said, you know that time frame where from twelve to like shit. thirty, mm-hmm. that Jesus wasn't around. Mm-hmm. They're saying that he took a pilgrimage to to India, and he that's where he studied. The Buddha lived 600 years before Jesus Christ. Yeah. So they're saying he studied Buddhism and brought it back and just named it Christianity. Yeah. So what about the Dead Sea mm. Scrolls? Damn, this shit can't do <laughs> <laughs> I have no clue. Never heard of them? Oh, I heard of them, but I have no, I have no clue. Okay. He said you won't get him like that, nigga. Uh, okay, I'm just saying. <laughs> Man, we because I thought that we was can a have a deep board. conversation about all the that's the wrong all that. Like it's a lot. It's a mm-hmm. lot. I feel like all of them is kind of like it's like this entwined mm-hmm. some way. I yeah, think all that shit is, ex- like it's on telephone to me. Yeah, that's you true to, too. Oh, something yeah. in somebody's ear. Once you pass it down, do you believe in God? Who? Are you believe in uh, God? I believe Uh-oh. in a higher being. I don't know if it's God, the Buddha, the Muslim. The I don't, universe. I, but I don't but know the Buddha was a man. So, you so God wasn't it, a man? You take him out of it. Was God a man? I feel like God, God is, is like a, a spirit. Energy, like, there you go. Yeah, Holy Spirit. Jesus okay. is the man. Jesus is the man. Yeah. God is the and how you know that? But Jesus, because of I think shit God. that was passed See, down to you. So all right, we can't So who walked on water? Jesus. Yeah. Jesus. And how did he walk on water? But he could have been the manifestation of God. So it was a low tide. Literally, literally, they showed it. It's a low tide, and there's literally a strip. He could literally just walk straight across. Mm -hmm. Uh, So he didn't walk on water. He he walked. He walked. God parted the Red Sea for him. Hmm. It's funny how you believe that to be be true now. What's that? You believe that to be true? What's that? What you just said about Jesus walking up? I, I saw it on TV. So. Hmm. Fuck that you <laughs> I'm on TV sometimes, so yeah. You yeah. on TV? Yeah. yeah. YouTube, turn it on right now. Yeah, well, YouTube now we did. I was saying it too, nigga. Niggas don't be believing some of the shit we say to you. Hey, they like, don't believe oh, nothing I say, so it's all right. No, I don't know, yo. I, I think I think it's it's too many contradictions in that book. Oh, yeah, of course it is. Of course it is. For what, in the Bible? Yeah. yeah. Yo, that book is crazy. I, I used to think before, you know, I started reading more, 
I just said it's just a, a, a book of like like nursery rhymes. Yeah, that's it's why it's a bunch of stories, bro. Nursery rhymes because it's, just, it's literally just it's like it. mythology. Like this ain't in mythology. This ain't a man's holding up the earth. You know what I mean? So they're saying if you do this, this will happen. You know what I mean? Like it's yeah. the same thing. Like don't be bad. That's all I was trying to do. That's Stay like what about the other bad. gods? Like Thor it's and the only niggas. one god. Though. Well, that was God before. Do you believe it's only one? That was before. Do you believe it's only one before before you believe it's only one god? Jesus Christ. There was more gods. I, I believe there was the sun god. Yeah, I believe before Christianity came, people they believed in multiple. Uh, deities. That's clear. They right. did. It's not true. so. That's yeah. True. So that's fact. They did. So clear. to think. So to think, there's just one. That just depends on your faith. And that's why it's called faith. You have to really so believe in what, what religion what <laughs> religion shit, eh? <laughs> what religion <laughs> speaks about too. multiple gods though? Like what there's religion what religion uh, worships multiple gods? I think I think the Hindus do. I'm not sure. Hmm. Yeah, I forgot what I've heard about um like yeah. world history. The Vikings yeah. do for religion. sure. Because I know like um <laughs> Y'all, this might be ignorant, but don't judge me. Like the Mexicans, like they might pray to different gods. Yes, yes they do. Oh, and then they well, um, if you do like that, then Haitians, they pray to different gods. The Africans do too. If you want to do it, I was about to say Africans, yeah. they pray to different gods. Yeah, that's a but good point. And voodoo, Catholic, voodoo is real. Voodoo that, and voodoo. voodoo yeah, I don't know but being Catholic, we was taught that the it was a sin oh, to believe so it's, in, it's in white, in white magic, black gods. Yeah. Oh no, I don't believe in white magic. So I just yeah. feel like white magic is good, black magic is bad. At this point, yeah. but it's my I'm not like voodoo. Yeah, that's like for me, I just feel like I don't know. I'd be we'll wrong. figure out when we die. So I feel like God <laughs> gives us all our gifts, and I feel like just like it's um, Jesus and the devil. Mm -hmm. I feel like you. All the gifts are from God, but it just depends on which, because we got free will. Mm -hmm. yeah. So it depends on what you decided you were fit. Have you ever heard of who dude? Yeah. Mm -hmm. I never heard of who dude. I heard of who dude. Voodoo. Yeah. Oh, like a good side? But is it, yeah. Uh, good side. Who dude? Yeah. Who dude? Yeah. Side. They say good side because white. That's not true because I know a black girl that does know. voodoo. I don't know. I ain't never heard of that. Yeah. You just say hoodoo is the white side of voodoo. Black. Yeah, it's black magic, white. White meaning it's good. Yeah. Black meaning is He's saying, thing. why is it good? Because it's white. We already know this. Like, come on. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. Yeah, he gets but voodoo is the good side and voodoo is the bad side. So why are the, the black niggas got to be the bad side? I don't because, like it. No, but I don't voodoo like it. is more like, I'm going to shrink your head. I never heard of no hoodoo. Right? Fuck right. hoodoo. And hoodoo uh, was more like giving like guidance and that type of thing. You right? know the oh, shit that made me believe like, that fucking voodoo was real? When they banned it in um, Haiti. Mm -hmm. Like if they catch when they you, banned what they, voodoo they banned it. They catch you doing it, they lock you the fuck up. Cause, uh, it's very that's right. I'm like, yo, this shit gotta be real. They locking niggas it's up for very it. much real. Who do you so don't poke me with it's no still dog? All faith. It's still all faith at the end of the day. It ain't believe. Like, yeah. It ain't believe. Somebody like, poke me with a fucking dog and I stick. It ain't. It ain't faith no more. This shit is real. Don't poke me but with that dog. But why is faith not real? I mean, because faith just is what you believe in. But why is it's it not an action? But if you believe in something strong enough, it's it's true. No, we talking about an actual action. If I got a, if somebody got a voodoo doll and they poke it with you mm -hmm. and it fuck you up, yeah. that's an action that somebody committed that happened. And you, and you believe know it's in real. It's something. No, it's not you believing. You believe it because you have actual cause and effect. <laughs> It ain't just no fucking, oh, I think so. I believe. No, nigga. You have results. <laughs> Real shit. No, I feel you. You got me. Talking about. Yeah, take your sip. Cause you, yeah. you don't got to say anything he say. About to do some voodoo but on the right? side. Right? Like, that too. And. Yeah. Oh, I already took my sip. Oh. I might need a read it. <laughs> Can I get a read? <laughs> yeah. I hate y'all. <laughs> Oh, thank you. Okay, so we so, talked about religion, we talked mm -hmm. about the podcast. You had another question. Hi, um, okay, we got some question. other questions. Oh, we put it at. I don't really, I don't really know how this question. Let me ask it. Yeah. All right, what did you get it off? <laughs> the question reads: mm -hmm. <laughs> If you could erase all the terrible, fucked up things you did in the past, would you? No. Why not? What you want you? Hmm? Oh, no, I thought finish. we were all going to ask. No, go ahead. Oh, no. Because um, no. everything I did makes me everything I am. Yeah. Hmm. That's Hallelujah. Si simple as that. I know? feel the same way. Because if I did all good, then I wouldn't have got to a point where I need to rebuild myself to be the person that I am today. And I feel like you need dark to see the light. 
do it. Yeah, I believe it. Yep. Yep. So what about you, nigga? Well, I, I he don't look like he more did. fucked up shit than y'all. So you think you Damn, did? Damn, the fuck you did? Yeah, did a lot of shit. Yeah. Like, uh, now you so I follow up to that question yeah. reads. <laughs> The fuck you so, interview you, nigga. Right? <laughs> Y'all, I really don't know what this got to do with this question, but just the mm-hmm. second part of my question. Okay. And it reads, so <laughs> do you think it's wrong that white people want to remove slavery from the school curriculum and history books? Yeah, it's wrong. You, it's definitely wrong. You have to... What does that have to do? You have to see... Well, that's because every, if everybody would have said, yeah, then you it would have been combative. Oh. Like, how can you think they wrong? From removing their history. Okay. That's but I think we should going. cover all history. Like, but we've uh, been hearing slaves. their history. Oh, you're gonna, we be, but it's so much more to slavery than what they teach. teach and yeah. I learned that when and, I went to the museum. And, and um, also, yes, yeah. black and history didn't start in 1619. Exactly. Y'all, what was that That thing called in New York? A lot of history. But at the, yeah. At the same time, that like, thing, and I ain't mean it, y'all. I ain't mean it, <laughs> baby. If you see this video, I ain't mean it. <laughs> At the same time, I kind of don't believe y'all, though, yo. That like, what? About that y'all what? wouldn't want to change no shit y'all did in the past. Mm-mm. I really wouldn't. Oh, this man get on my no. nerves so bad. Why? Because I don't believe y'all. You never believe us. You, because you did fu- real fucked up shit. So y'all say y'all we... never did fucked up shit in y'all past world? No, not really. I mean, not, not, not me. to where I regret I have, it. I mean, but, but what, you know, what's I'm the most fucked up So you don't care about the people that you heard? Uh, he did. <laughs> I'm about to say, look, everybody got answered with the fucked yeah, up thing. Nah, uh, niggas, you need to go therapy for that off game shit. Yeah. I just feel Lord like, I don't feel like I've done no fucked up stuff in my past. Not like, you know, I just don't. Oh. Yeah, so you would eat. You would erase all the fucked up shit you did. If I could, yeah. What's some of the most fucked up shit you did? Yeah, he not about all it. the fucked up shit. Like, uh, you kill somebody. Oh shit! Oh <laughs> shit! I plead the fifth for this nigga. I put it in on somebody before. Okay. Damn. Did they? Did it? Did it get work? carried out? That's what's our shit. No, shooting. they got put in the hospital, but they ain't die. Did but, you spend more than twenty five hundred? No. See, uh, the moral why, story yeah, yeah, is, yeah, yo, the yeah, niggas in Baltimore will do anything for twenty five hundred dollars. Give me the paper. And that's a damn <laughs> But shame. I didn't even want that. Yo was just supposed to go by there and bust at the spot, but yo mm. went by there and stared the niggas up. Mm. Mm. He had yeah, some just built it up a great piping hot. See, so, not that. Maybe you should talk to him. To God, oh, I take care of my children. I go to work. Y'all niggas know I be joking. Mm-hmm. 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 Y'all niggas know I be joking. Mm-hmm. 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 Well, I'm so do you do guided meditation or do you do you know silent? Oh, I'm silent. Um, at first I did got it. Um, yeah, to help. Yeah. you gotta get it used to it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like I used to like visualize and see the, the lights and I'm uh, like I ain't doing that no more um, my first couple of months I used to fall asleep trying to meditate yeah. Um, yeah. but yeah I'm just silent now I just open the window let the let me hear the birds hear and the, the, okay, you know all that good stuff so uh-huh. what's the proper way to use the sound baths that's it I got a bowl what is the, I need to uh, hit, hit it, hit it. Hit it. Oh. so how do you meditate and do that Mm-hmm. It do deep deep breaths, I guess. Yeah, mm-hmm. very deep breaths. Just relaxing your mind. Yeah. Why you bring one? I only have one. Why you bring it's it? Sacred. It's sacred. You it's got in, my, it's in my sanctuary. Where you buy it from? Amazon. It was a gift, actually. Oh, I'm gonna say I don't trust Amazon getting the sound and spiritual stuff oh, from Amazon. Oh, I just, I don't know. Know. <laughs> get that man so where can I get a sound? Where can I get a sound? Block. Where can I get one from? Secret space. Where's Kesley? Yep. Okay. Oh. Boom. Okay. Shout out to Pooski, my barber. He cut on Caswick. Okay. Mm-hmm. I think we should have a crazy crab bag sound bath experience. I don't know if it's going to be quiet enough, right? <laughs> <laughs> She's just trying to throw it in anything, huh? He's just throwing everything. I mean, comedy shows, had sound bowls. Yeah, throw a toy, toy party, too. Why not? Everybody needs to meditate. Everybody needs everything with sex with him. 
Yeah. But who? <laughs> you know, you should really maybe create your own sex toys. That maybe that's might be an avenue for you. You're highly interested. In. What? Yeah, my homeboy, he made molds. Oh, for real? He yeah. had. Did you have you watched him? Did you see the shit he found on eBay? Mm-hmm. Yeah. The hook hole coin. Mm-hmm. And with the booty, the booty. Yeah, you got the. You get the, you get the, you get the, you get the quarter, <laughs> the two, the three quarter. You get all that. And he created it. Yeah. Do he need a partner? Mm. I can ask. <laughs> why God, Why the fuck we gonna have? What we gonna have? Dicks next to each other? Like what you mean? Like y'all created hey, a mold? Why yeah, he just making the mold? He gotta do it in the same place. Uh, uh, get paid. Fuck, we need double molds. Like I mean, it's just that avenue double that I think you girls might it. like that. You That's know. true. You like that? Yeah, it could be like the screwdriver. You know, You're one side bigger than the other. I'm not. I'm not. So what do these represent? Um. This is my, uh, I pray with these. Actually. Okay. So is that kind of like a rosemary for it's Catholics? Rosary, yeah, exactly. Rosary, so, I'm sorry. And everything is, uh, and I'm, I'm everything is a multiple of nine. Nine is the, uh, because nine. nine is a very powerful number. What does it hmm. represent? <laughs> Unity. So like mm, okay. Zen mm-hmm. and all that, the, the completion of the circle. That's why because Wu-Tang is nine right? members, because they, oh. completion. No, it's not. You you is nine oh. members because they had a lot of niggas. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the I'm gonna tell you what the RZA said. Them niggas wasn't yeah. even gonna be a member. No, it's just it's just, it's just the eight because it's continuous. Okay. Yeah, it's continuous. And but the nine ain't don't the RZA is the unit. The RZA said the nine is. It's because it's nice. Yeah, but then we just said, nigga, Rizzo said Bobby Digital yeah. was a good album, oh, no, too. That's that my fault. So, oh, yeah, Prize, Prize going down for yeah, a long time. Like so, do you like count Prize to nine rat. when you. Um, no, no, I, I, this is. I just keep going. Prize was a so, fucking informant. What's that? What did That's you the motion. You just practice the motion. It's not that Can hard. Can you show me? Yeah. So, why you meditate and you're so, doing what? This is. So, you count the nine? I thought that was a Catholic thing. It is. Are you counting or are you just no, I'm, you just constantly, I'm, I'm, I'm constantly doing this? No, mm. like, I don't like answers like that. Some people, some no, people religions chant. probably have similar practices okay. but in different ways yeah. or some different. People, some people, some people chant. Yeah, but they ask you, yo, is so that a thing? Yes, Catholic, but it's universal. Yes, one hundred ten percent. Because it gives me a focal point. Yeah, religion. Yeah. And where did similar, you get that from? The same spot as the sound bed? Um, no, I got this from Amazon. The one I have at the house, which is. Way more expensive. I got that up there on, in Hamden. And they so. Buddha beads. Mm-hmm. But the, the mala beads. Mala beads. So even if I'm not Buddhist, I could still use them mala to help beads, yes. me with. So how you know they mala beads? How you know they ain't just some beads uh, a nigga and got his drunk on now. Amazon? <laughs> he got it from over, Amazon. Overpriced. Yeah, he like he. he feels- <laughs> <laughs> so what? What should you need to find out is if someone prayed over them or they did not. These weren't prayed over. The ones I have at the house were prayed over. How would you know if I ain't on Amazon? Hmm? How would you know? That these weren't prayed over? Nah. Yeah. yeah. Oh, this, I just know. What? I just. Yeah. How the fuck you know somebody prayed over? Because she did it when I was standing right there. Really? Yeah. Oh, shit. <laughs> Yo, this man, <laughs> that boy, ignorance is unmatched. <laughs> like, he's telling hey, he y'all. Yo, yeah. y'all niggas is crazy. But yeah, like, some people, but some people, episode. they get them like that. Like, if you go down to Chinatown in DC, they'll tell, mean, you, they'll tell you to your face, like, oh, yeah, somebody in Tibet prayed over these. No, they didn't. All right. So the woman that prayed over them. Yeah, yeah. How you know her history? It's not about it's knowing a person's faith. history because it's called God trusting speaks somebody that you everybody. never met in your motherfucking life. But God speaks to <laughs> everyone. But if you go into a church, you gotta trust that preacher. Yeah. No, you don't. But he don't you can no test faith. that preacher out. You go to a church, you know what I mean? This is what this nigga talking about. But you believe in that coochie, right. don't you? What coochie? Now all my <laughs> now all my but some coochie. Yeah, because I test it out. Oh. What you talking about? Hey, yo. <laughs> everybody have one good game. No, they don't. <laughs> What you mean? How you gonna make a good game when I'm testing you out? I'm putting you through the ringer. What the fuck you talking about? Y'all niggas is wild. Yo. No disrespect to your faith, dog. No, you good. No. You good. But I just like a lot of that shit just be, it just yeah. be like, y'all just jumping out there. Oh, she prayed over them. That bitch could be smoking crack in the back room and yeah. coming out to just get her bag. Like, what you mean? But my so can the bitch that you fucking. That's true. <laughs> And you, that got to do and with the you pussy, still going to eat that pussy. Yes, you yes. still want to. <laughs> you got faith in the pussy, but yeah, not in God. Say, is it safe? 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 Because we need to save some ball. 
what I'm talking about. <laughs> Yo, I'm joking, but so we need that. We he needs to be baptized. I've been baptized Jesus. before. Like what you it's mean? It's time again. We shot the morning star. We can baptize him again. Yeah. Maybe how will we do that? So do y'all believe in baptisms in, in the Buddha? The Hold Buddha up. Um, no, no, no. Who we need to do right now? You need, <laughs> we need to you need someone. You need dead. someone of the faith. Are you doing? No, I can't do it. I'm He's someone, a Buddha. Wait, wait, someone of the faith. Yeah. I'm someone of the He's faith. He's a Buddha. Come on, let me baptize. I can't. Uh, <laughs> uh oh, here we go. Oh my God. <laughs> Dear Father God, listen. <laughs> I can't. Believe him. <laughs> he joking, but I'm not of his healing way. <laughs> Give me some water. Lord Jesus, no. Give me Baptize some me into Give me some water. Baptize me into Kayla, Dear nigga. Father God. Somebody got to do it. Summer, he ain't going to go to the house of the Lord. Oh, so we're gonna do it here in Jesus' name. Save him, Lord. Okay, this gotta be a clip. Oh, summer, mama, mama. Save his soul. All he believe mm. in is summer, women. Mama, mama. Of the world, mama, 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 mama. and it can't be, Lord. I ain't Yo, playing. playing, so playing I ain't playing. Mean, I can't. In the name of Jesus, save a soul. Oh, oh, oh shit! Oh shit! I just gotta start. I did it! Ew! You spit! I did it! <laughs> oh my God! What the fuck? Oh God! Yeah, yeah. I'm slipping. Oh, he should be an actor. Oh my god, y'all, he joking, but I'm not. I really want him to save his soul, but I didn't know the right word. Oh my god, and I know that water well, you should be is what actor. they do when they uh, baptize. Never come from but the if we need a, a, like somebody save his soul, he not right. All he believe in is no. I, yo, listen. real, real talk. Like I don't know what just happened. But I'm still gonna fuck these bitches. Fuck is you talking about? Hey, yo. <laughs> when this lightning bolt come down and strike him, I don't want to be a part. So I'm gonna come over here. We gonna create some space. I don't know if you in the camera over there. Listen. Oh, right. uh -oh. Don't move over. Power. Do you want me struck by lightning? I'm in the camera. I'm, I'm, I'm in the camera. Good. 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 That's all that matters. <laughs> Oh my god, this nigga go atheist. Are you atheist? No, I'm not atheist. But do you, I ain't. Mean, I believe, I, you believe in I don't, God. I'm not Are you mad, mad I messed up your you ways? Though. You mad I what's up, messed they, up your ways? No, my fucking shit right. is leaking on my shirt and shit. Right. Like, can I? Y'all, I, I, I think our next podcast should be in the truck. You know what? I got a pastor that I'm going to invite on here. Uh -oh. Because I, go I, I, I got a lot of questions. My brother. He won't have all the answers. Yeah, he definitely won't have questions. It's a she. And I'm going to really invite her on here because Please, dude, because I got so many questions. Yeah. It's going to come back to faith. I'm, I'm going to answer her. I'm going to burn the her up. The only is her, um, her service starts at two. Oh, we so we her. might need to shoot her at another day. Man, we can get, get her in I ain't gonna be here. That's the problem. You ain't gonna be here. Like, I'm going without it. It's all things go. Is this disturbing you? Not at all. Behavior? Not at all. Come on, you know this. I was really trying to save his soul, though, y'all. I swear I'm not even playing. Well, so I just need some liquor. Right. My cup thing is full. Mm. Can I get a little bit? Of, can I get so a little bit? So what's the head coming people? up? Like, did we get the food? On? What's your new like? On? Like, what are you getting into? New things? New part? Like, what? What's so, your goals? Like, uh, like this, things like that. For well, the goal, was just to get the name out as Go much on. as possible. Okay, you would uh, take on new podcasts. Oh yeah, absolutely. Yeah, okay. Yeah. I was just told that the, the books are open, so any any new podcast I want to come over with SMG. Would you manage us? Yeah, I have no problem with that. He went. Uh, yeah, he got a lot of people this way. Do we have the potential to make some money? Oh yeah, hundred ten percent. I wouldn't be here if that was the case. Okay. He fuck with our content. Huh? Um, but yeah, May first. We don't want to talk about our content. Uh, not May first. <laughs> I'm all wrong. May thirteenth. Yeah, okay. we have a, a live show, a, a tiny desk for oh, nice. uh, yeah for one of the uh, the artists. Her name is Nia Simone, uh, super dope poet, singer, yeah, all that. Yeah, really? Nah, she sounds like. No, her name. I'm yeah, uh, she sounds like Nina Simone, but it's Nia Simone. Okay. Yeah. okay. She, she's 19, uh, super kid. Um, then That's we got dope. on May 20th, we got. Um, That's the day the I got married. The 90s versus 2000s uh, live show. Um, what is it? Oh. I do not have the information, but I can pull it up for you. I'll get it to you. Um, <laughs> Okay. We should go to that. Um, yeah, super dope. That's one, one, of, one of the podcasts actually hosting it. So, and okay. then. Um, July 15th. 
I have my own Toxicology Report live show that we're going to be doing. So okay. that'd be super dope. But yeah, when that gets closer, then we have a spot. So, but until then, you know. So how much you would charge to manage us? And how much money could we make? Not on camera. <laughs> yeah, we're talking business on camera. Like, damn, hey, all things go pockets. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah that is. Yeah, that is. Mm. So. But. Yes, we find out okay. when it's shit over. Yeah, so when you cut the camera off, I'll tell you exactly how much it is. <laughs> <laughs> Um, they can find me uh on the jester underscore SMG is T H E underscore Jester, like court jester, um S M G. And then you can find the company Sarcarrogance, S A R C A R R O G A N C E. Hey, I got it right the first time. And then the studio is the same thing, underscore studios. And then we have the link tree. All the podcasts are there. And we have a website, sarcarrogance.com. You can get merch. You can book studio time. You can get consultations. You can get a mentorship. We start classes soon. Hmm. We do we doing that. Damn, that's right. Right. Yeah. They lit. And there's no limit to, like, if somebody books your studio, mm-hmm. it just, you don't, like, you don't ask them what they don't, like, because that's different things you could do like recording yeah, no matter what it is got, okay they just book it yeah. everybody you can books book it, the same you can book it monthly if you want i, I appreciate that yeah but yeah, we do okay. hourly we do a monthly you can do a weekly if you want however you want to do it okay but they just all of it's booked under one thing and then no, no, they'll no, come no. in and tell you so we what have they not see we, the cio she hooked it up so you okay. got podcasting side and you have miscellaneous side so miscellaneous side is when you do the art yeah. shows the photo yeah. shoots and all that good stuff okay yeah, you really do everything yep you okay. do anything you want in that studio you can think it up we'll make it happen for you to the best of our ability okay all right well we are the all things go podcast at the crazy crab bag restaurant Hold on. I need I, I need a little more energy yeah, like that. that. Too, that all crazy. things go podcast at the crazy crab bag restaurant. restaurant. <laughs> Open this soon. Heard me? We outside. Period. This has been another time. episode of the All Things Go podcast. Peace. Dragon!